What is up, y'all? I am Justin, this is my world, and I am actually live today. I bet when you saw it, it got past 5 o'clock on another Sunday, and I wasn't live, that I was skipping it again. I know I skipped Wednesday, I skipped last Sunday, all these, I, it feels like I haven't streamed in eons, but we are back today. I was just running a little behind schedule, and I wanted to get this um, Hartlepool um, career mode up to the spot that I wanted it in. Um, which was like, because I think last time, when, time we left off, it was at the end of this of last season, so I had like a month and a half to simulate, and um, yeah. So, only thing you missed, uh, I sold Will Bapaga, Bapaga bags. I ended up selling him just now for ten million euros. So I'm trying to beef up our champ, our budget here for championships, so we can upgrade a bunch of different positions. Uh, so we can, it we'll have a stamp of. Uh, a fighting chance to stay up because the like I've been saying last episode the jump from league 1 the championship is huge is compared to league 2 to league 1 so uh we sold Bapaga maximized his value I think and we now just have a few positions to fill um this is the team we have right now uh, I'm going to move Bre uh, Thomas Asante back to right wing and he's going to start out there uh, Oliver Burke, we had a pre-contract agreement with him. He is our striker. Uh, Gray is uh, Joe Gray is over at left wing right now. That is likely to change. Winger left wing is a target of mine to buy. Ewan Forsyth is in at the center mid spot right now with Weirdu and Christensen is the decent defensive mids. I think I'm going to try to sell Christensen here since his contract's up. Get a little bit more money. Probably bring in another midfielder. Uh, Ogle is the right back for now. He will not be the right back. We're going to buy one or loan one in. Jones and Odusina are the center backs, but I think I'm going to try to loan in a center back as well. And then Cooney is going to start at left back, the 17-year-old Irishman. And that's what our team's looking like right now. And then on the bench, we have Holm. What's up, Internet? Uh, or Interested User 54. What a creative name. Um, we have Holm at right wing. Olamola is our backup striker right now. Roshan Williams still is our center back backup. Shelton moves to the bench. Bramble's on the bench. Griffith also on the bench. And we only have Clark is our backup center back. So I think we're going to transfer-wise, mark it now. We're going to try to add uh, add at these positions. Goalkeeper, I don't know if we'll get a starter over Killip, but we need another one. Um, I'm going to try to get a center back loaned in. I don't know if I'll buy one. Uh, right, right back is the third one, midfield is four, winger is five, and then a backup striker is six in the lowest priority, I believe. So with that being said, I've lowered the transfer list down a little bit, but I haven't looked at these guys, whoops. I um, whittled down our transfer list, and I have found some players that I've determined could be interesting ads for us. So I'm right now just going to try to loan some guys in, I think. Uh, Harward Bellis is going to be my first option. He will, will not be loaned, so I think I can probably safely take him off the transfer list. We're going to keep doing... We're going to keep whittling this down. Uh, we only have Christensen that we have offered left. Uh, so we'll go back. We'll try Levi Colwell. Will he be available for loan? He is. I don't know if he'll want to play for us, but, uh, he could. Let's find out. We're going to do a... I'm, oh, God. I love doing these loan to buy options. Chelsea's rep. I, I want to loan him for the year. Colwell's wages. I definitely want to split him 40 60 at the very least. Makes a lot of money. Transfer some. I'll give you eight million for him at the end of the year if he's good, good enough. All right, so that's our first uh, loan offer. We'll see if we get him. If not, we'll move on to Deshaun Bernard. There's there's a lot of guys on this transfer list that we can move on to loan wise after, um, after we get rejected by someone else. Sherpin is a guy I'm very interested in. I want to loan him, but they're not interested in loaning him. It sucks. Uh, let's see if Nathan Patterson is available to be loaned from Everton. No. So he can go off the list. 
I don't want to buy him. Um, goalkeepers. Wow, Virginia. They are not interested in learning him either, so we'll drop him off the list. Oh, I was going to buy overall. That's right. None of these guys are going to be loan targets. Gordon could be a loanee. They are not interested in loaning him out. Interesting. Maybe if I can get him cheap, I'll buy him. Hendricks. And these are all center backs. I don't want to loan those guys yet. Center back, center back. Would they loan us Rock Saki? Okay, this guy could be the guy. Saki. Rock Saki. We'll do another loan to buy deal. I always like to do loan to buy just in case my guys are really good and I want to bring them back. So, um, you know, let's go for two year loan. Patrick Vieira, he's willing to do it. Oh, no, he only wants a one year. Okay, that's fine. I'm willing to do that. I'm thinking 40 60 on the split wage. No, get out of here, Vieira. You fuck. I'll do 45 55 if it makes you feel better. Um, and then transfer wise, I don't even know what this guy's worth. I'll offer like three million. Throw that out there. Thirty-two hundred. Okay, whatever. Three point two. I'll do it. That's worth it. We'll see if we get Rocksaki is Saki in. Um, we're gonna hold off on all these other guys to loan. Uh, Okonkwo is a guy I was thinking about learning in as well as Atete, so we'll try Okonkwo next, and they will not loan him. Atete. Kion Atete is available for loan, though. I want to do a loan to buy with him. Do one-year loan, and Antonio Conte I'm willing to work with us. Absolutely not. We want a 40-60 split. I will give you two million at the end of it. Three point four. What about three? All right, whatever. Thirty-one fifty. We'll do it, and then we'll see if we get this loan in from Tottenham. A lot of loan offers we can throw out there, so I'm just gonna throw out a bunch to start. See what we get. See what lands. Um, and I think I'm gonna offer Kessler Hayden a deal on a loan. He might be the last one. I want to sign Declan Drysdale to a deal, too. Maybe if we run out of money on a center back. I think center back's going to be the last thing we address. And we'll see if we can get Kane Kessler Hayden to come in on the loan as a left or a right back for us. And they will, and they are open to loaning him. We'll talk to who's their manager now. Is it Lampard? Oh, Steven Gerrard, that's who it is, yeah. Right. I'm going to do a two-year off offer again. No, he's going to say no. He wants a one. That's fine. Yeah, I'm just saying, if they don't pay his wages for another year, I'll take it. 60-40 <laughs> um, split. No, 40-60 is what we're going to push. They push a 50-50, whatever. 50-50 is fine at his price. And, you know, I'm going to offer it 32-50. Oof. Okay, it went up. All right, fine, fine. Before you jack up the price again on me, we'll do that. So we have four loan deals out there now for Kessler Hayden, Atete, Roxaski, and Levi Colwell. So we'll see who lands off of that list. But I think we can also afford to buy a center mid right now that I think about it. What do we have at that spot right now? And none of the goalkeepers were loanable, it seems. So, um, Dan Langley's probably loanable. I could try to buy him too, maybe. We'll see. We'll see on the goalkeepers on the goalkeeper front. Um, center mids. What are we looking at here? I like Tariq Backinson. Or Tyreek Backinson. A good bit. He can shoot. Plays for Bristol City. You know, why not bring him in? He's one of he's probably the best center mid on our list right now. 
he is. We're going to bring in Tyreek Backinson. He's also a big man, 6'3", 180 pounds. Let's see if we can get him for, like, that 24, 2500 or million, I guess. I'm going to get for 24, 2.4 million. They want three. Let's see if I can get him. Yeah, let's, let's, let's work with me here. We have 2750 on him. See if I can get a bargain with him, with Backinson. And they do. They give it to me for 2750 I think that's just going to be a steal for us. It's going to give us much more flexibility. I think he's going to be an important player for us. He wants to be a crucial player. Jesus. Okay. A one-year deal. No, I want two. At least. Wow, he is not confident in our team at all. Remove that silly bonus. I'll give him all that right there. And he's in. Backinson is in. So that is our first deal of the window. Tyreek Backinson joins from Bristol City. And he's going to slot right into our lineup instead of Christensen, I believe. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to throw Christensen on the bench for the time being. I'm going to reorganize the bench since it's not in the order I want it to be in. Wonderful. So that pushes Griffith off to the reserves. But I like the idea of Backinson and Weiridu. But even more so, I think I can just do two center mids or something like that. Yes, a little more evenly spread, I think, is what I'm going to go with. Weiridu will be just the back guy in general. Just 58 shooting, it makes sense. And you have Ewan Forsythe there. I like Weiridu being the ball winner back there. Backinson's more is even more of a big frame, but I don't know. I like him being up there, but that's a good signing for now. And I think we'll just stop and see what happens with our loans. It's the next step. We have four loans out there. I'm hoping not all four get rejected. It would suck if they do. All four got declined. Wow. Kessler Hayden said no. Itete said no. Rakasaki said no. Cole Will also said no. So we have more center backs now that we can try to... Whoops, not the squad hub. We have more center backs now that we can try to loan in. But we can knock Kessler Hayden off our list, I think. I'd rather buy an Osai 2-2 if I'm buying some... Oh, they're not going to let me buy him. Okay. I like this guy, uh, Norton Cuffey. 19 years old. I would like to buy him. It'll probably be cheaper. Okay, so if he won't be bought, then he's off the list. Uh, Cole Will will be off the list because I'm not going to be able to afford to buy him. So next guy is Deshaun Bernard. We'll try to loan him in. He could also play right back for us, so I might try two different guys right now on the loan to buy options. Manchester United, Eric von, von ten, ten Hag would be the representative now. Jesus, he makes a lot of money. Remove the sell-on clause. I'll give him that much money. That's fine. We'll accept that. I don't think Deshaun Bernard is going to accept this offer, but it's worth a chance. It's worth a shot trying it out. And then I think the other guy I'm going to try to loan in at this point would be Reese Williams from Liverpool. So we'll put a loan to buy option out on him. I'd like to get him on a two-year loan if they'll allow it, and they will. Oh, my. Oh, I would love this if he'll do this deal for me. I'll do a 50-50 loan split with this. I'll take the 4600 price. That's fine for me. So let's hope that we get Reese Williams in. Um, I don't think there's anyone else we really wanted to try to loan at this time. Or if there even is anyone available to try to loan at this time. Uh, Rock Saki, I think I'm going to keep on the list. Same with Atate. I kind of want to buy him. Because <laughs> he's just so big. He's, his like path is blocked. 
We can try to loan in Brad Young from Aston Villa. That's another guy I think we can try. And they will allow a loan approach on Brad Young. We'll see what he says, though. Try a two-year loan deal, and they'll accept that for us with the option to buy. Coming afterwards, uh, absolutely not. I'll do 50-50 with you. And we'll pay $3 million for him at the end of it. 3% selling clause, whatever, that's fine. So we have three more loan options out there now. Brad Young, Reese Williams, Deshaun Bernard. Um, I, we only have center back options at, at, at this point after this, so if we don't get either of them, that's going to suck. Any of them, I mean. And we don't get any of them. Wow, nobody wants to see, nobody. Nobody wants to come here and play. Ben Killip, I cannot afford to sell. Reject that offer. Okay. Well, is there any center back available that would enjoy coming into play for me? I can get rid of Bernard. And we can get rid of Reese Williams. So we're not going to buy them. And I think Hendricks is probably the last guy we have an option to loan in on. Hendricks and Mascara probably are the last two I'm even going to try to loan in. They won't even let me take Hendricks for a spin. So he's off the list. And that means our last loan option here is going to be Mascara. And I don't think he's even going to join. I really don't think he is. From Wolverhampton Wanderers. And we'll accept that. I'll accept that. Transfer sum rate right under four million. I don't think he's going to accept it, but if he does, then glory be us. But otherwise, I think we're kind of stuck here. I think we can take Young off of this list. And I think we might just sign. So we have. How much money do we have, first of all, is going to be my ask. 11 million. And I think our most important positions to upgrade are going to be right back and left wing. So I think we should spend our money on that, right back and left wing. So our right back options option is going to be Norton Cuffey. We'll buy him right now. No, we're not going to pay the release clause. We'll negotiate with Lincoln City. I think he's a good player. He's only 19 years old. I'm excited to see what his potential could be on our squad. We'll offer 2500 for him. And that's perfect. That's what they will accept. Or 2.5 million is what I should say. Brooke Norton Cuffey, welcome to the squad. And he is going to be... I'm going to try to get him as a rotation player, but he's going to want to be an important player. That's fine. We'll give him a five-year deal. Perfect by us. No release clause. And I'll increase his wage to 4000 per. And I'll try to get him cheap here on a $40,000 signing bonus. Let's see what that says. They say it's a reasonable offer. Good. Good and reasonable. So we have our right back in, and then we just need a wing. And that wing, I think I want it to be Gordon here. I want it to be Cade Gordon. Yeah, because Rocksaki is... Yeah, no. I want it to be Gordon. He's a left foot. He would fit the left wing mold that we have. He's the one I'm going to go for. Let's just do it right now. Yeah, we got the money. And then we can reevaluate. 18 years old. Playing for Liverpool, learning from Mo Salah every day. I mean, how could you not want him? I'll offer the I'll offer four million euros for him. I think it's a fair offer. And they come back at forty-seven. They're gonna come closer to me. I'm not gonna go up that much. Forty-two fifty is what I'm gonna push. Forty-three fifty. That's a fair deal. I'll accept it. I think he's gonna be worth it in the long run for us. So we got Cade Gordon coming in to Hartlepool. And he is going to be an important player. Crucial, he wants to be. That's fine. He probably will end up being a crucial player for us. 
Uh, I will give him a five-year deal. He accepts that. Disregard the release clause. That's the deal he wants. I'll give him that. 13-5. Jeez. Okay. Okay. So we do get Gordon in. That's big. We end up getting... We have Gordon, Norton Cuffey, and Backinson who have been signed. All great players. And Gray is going to move down to the bench now. Full bench. And Gordon's going to be the left wing. Ogle is going to come out. He's no longer a starter. And that's going to go to Norton Cuffey. Yes, 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 yes. And I think we can just sign a backup goalkeeper. And we can just sign a goalkeeper and we can sign a center back. And then we can probably pay a little bit more for a striker. And then whatever money's left over is we're good. So let's uh let's see what happens with the center back. Loan declined by Mascara, not a surprise. Ben Killip, we are not selling him. He's going to be our starter this year. We've got Oliver Allison looking at the scouting report. These guys stink. Don't need either of them. Reject them both. And we have our first game here against Paris Football Club. And I want to make sure I have Gordon moving over to a left winger. Take two weeks for that to happen. He's an exciting prospect. Oh, I'm glad we got him. It's going to be a bargain, and he might carry us through the championship. We do have Oliver Burke here. We have Olamola. We'll, we'll redo the. I'm going to redo some of these contracts once we have more players in. Because I don't think a lot of these guys need the roles that they have. I would love to bring in our defensive midfielder as well. I forgot we have Christensen on the stripe. Okay, so I think we can sign Declan Drysdale for sure. Or maybe not. We'll wait on that. We'll wait on the center backs unless somebody tries to sign Drysdale. But I think goalkeeper-wise, I think we're just going to sign somebody. I'm going to knock Okonkwo off the list. And I'm going to knock Langley off the list as well. And I'm just simply going to sign Harry Lewis, the 25-year-old, to a cheap deal. With his manager. He wants to be a rotation guy. Come on, dude. Sporadic. All right, whatever. Whatever, Harry. Three-year deal. More like two. I don't want him to be a rotational player, but if it's what it's going to be, it's what it's going to be. We got Harry Lewis in to be a backup goalkeeper. And Olamola is our backup striker. I don't like that. I really don't at this, at this moment. So we'll have to figure something out about that. Let's see, we got our first game here against Paris. Let's see how we hold up the new look team. New championship side. It's going to be tough to be stay up right now the way we're sitting, I think. But look at that, we tie Paris in this game. We get more money from this as well, so that's huge. Asante and Gordon each score for us. Love to see that. And I'm going to advance to the next week. Norton Cuffey hoping to improve after lackluster debut. I'm hoping he improves too. Shit. Don't forget to use substitutes. I won't. Ahia Fofana at Wagon is a guy to keep an eye on in the future, I think. Let's see who we can take a, who we can have take a seat in this one and get some rest. 
Wait, 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 wait. I forgot. I have some transfers to look at. And we do. Nobody I'm really dying to see, though. Christopher Adeyemi. He looks actually kind of good. Scout him. If he's a good free agent, I might just add him into the squad. Into the squad. Or remain. Ethan McGill is out there, six foot two guy. That's not look that great though, so I'm not going to sign him. Now, let's see. Our next game here is against Hercules. So we'll put Holman for a bit. Backinson's got to take a seat in favor of Shelton. Norton Cuffey will sit out in favor of Ogle. Bramble will play for Cooney. Odusina will take a seat in favor of Roshan Williams. And we'll see Weirdu sit for Christensen. And I'll even throw Harry Lewis in here for Killip. Why not? See how it goes. See how the team performs in this preseason. And then when we draw again, Backinson gets the goal. Uh, get along with Oliver Burke. They both bag in there first, uh, for the first time. And we are in a spot right now to move on in this tournament. Move down to Sparta, Rotterdam, the Dutch side. See some of these other players that are could be available. Crawley Town, Ludwig of Friends, Select is an intriguing player to me. Any of these guys. Hannibal is an, inter an interesting player to me. I don't think he will want to come here, though. Unfortunate. But I'll scout him and see if he would be amenable to a loan. Because I'll find a spot for Hannibal. Alex Mitchell looks like he wouldn't be too bad from Millwall. And nobody else, really, I'm looking at. So we got Sparta Rotterdam here. Who we got to sit out? Burke's got to take a seat. In this one, so we'll bring in Olamola. Gordon will sit in favor of Joe Gray. Ewan Forsyth will sit in favor of Shelton. Jones will sit in favor of Roshan Williams again. And then Killip will be back in that for us. Let's see what happens. Actually, you know what? No, no. Roshan Williams is not going to play. Who's actually going to play is... Clark, our young Scotsman. See how he does in Sparta Rotterdam. And we get the 1-0 win. Shelton with a goal in the 80th minute. And we move on in this tournament. That's going to give us some more money to play with. We go on to face the Hearts. Uh, I have to believe that's a Irish side. If I'm not mistaken. I've transfer offer for Bramble, and I'm going to reject that. Not what I'm wanting to see. Bramble's a good backup for now. And we here we are against Hearts. Take a look at the transfer options again. Omenku Mfulu could be an option out of, the Manic, out of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Ross Duhon was an intriguing guy, I think, too, but I'm not going to be scouting him any longer. Okay. Well, let's see how we do against the Hearts. Cooney's going to sit for Bramall. Uh, Norton Cuffey also has to take a seat here for Ogle to Gast. Weridu will sit in favor of Christensen. Thomas Asante will still play right wing. We'll bring Olamola there to play for Burke. Let's see how we do against Hearts. And it's a 2 0 victory over Hearts. Weridu and Asan Thomas Asante score. Huge dubs. 
huge dubs for us here. And we get to play Paris Football Club again after they beat the go-ahead Eagles in the final of this tournament, European International Cup, I believe. And we're just racking up these money, this money. We'll move up here to our game against Paris, and we get some guys scouted. Ross Duhon, don't need him. Hayden Carter, he's not as good as I thought he would be. Jamie Robson, he's not that great. And Lundu is terrible. And Gordon is ready for position change. He is moving to left wing for good. And what do we want to increase for him? Probably wide winger. And we'll do that. And Thomas Asante will be a right wing soon enough. And we'll just need a striker, I believe. And I think our team is stronger than it was in League One last year for sure. So I, I have some faith that we might be able to stay up this year. I don't think Sam Stubbs is going to be good, but I figured why not just scout him. What's the harm? Could be good. <sighs> don't care about any of those guys. Mm -mm. Okay, against Paris Football Club. I think we have to start all over Burke. He can't sit again. Thomas Asante will sit in favor of Victor Holm. Uh, Forsyth will play. Odusina will play. I think Jan Jones will have to sit, though, for Roshan Williams. It's going to have to happen. Yep, that's how it's going to have to go. That's going to have to be the lineup today. Let's hope we get the dub, beat Paris Football Club, and win this cup. And we do. We win the European International Cup. Oliver Burke scores twice for us. And we're looking good. This team is looking good early on in the season. We win the cup. We get more money. What could be what? What could what? what what's bad? What could be what could go wrong? So we get that extra money, and it's huge for us. And I think what we're gonna do with it is, how long do we have until our next opponent? And oh, we have Blackburn Rovers soon. So I think we're just gonna sign some guys now. So we have five million bucks. I think we are going to get McGahey off this list. We're going to sign Declan Drysdale to a free, just to be a backup. I think he will be accepting of that. I want to be a sporadic player. Important. Oh, God, absolutely not. End negotiations. No chance that's going to happen. Maybe as we get better at the end of the, at the, end of the month or something, we'll be able to get him... Uh, but yeah, that's not going to happen. So we have 5 million bucks. We need a striker for sure. But which one do we want to bring in? I'm really partial to a Tete, just because he's huge, real big guy. But Bloxham playing for Shrewsbury is also really good. 6 5 one, eighty. He's going to, oh, he they won't even sell him. So it's a Tete probably. Um, Kyle Joseph's a little small for my liking. Sam Burns, it's way too tiny. We'll get him off the list. Ricky J. Jones is an option. I don't know if I want to pay that much money for him, though. We get him off Peterborough. He doesn't, do any, he doesn't play anything else. Davidson is not going to be the guy that I bring in out of these. It's going to be either a Tete or a Ricky, G, Ricky G, uh, J. Jones. And, gosh, let's go with Ricky Jade. Uh, let's go with Ricky Jade. 20 years old, one year younger. I think we could swindle Peterborough here a little bit. I'll offer $3 million for him. Thirty-two fifty. I still think that's a steal of a deal, so let's do it. And we will sign Ricky Jade Jones up for the squad. He wants to be an important player. I accept that. I will accept. I want a five-year deal for Ricky. And we'll accept that. And the salary. I wish one of them would accept, would ask me about the salary now. I'll give him five thousand, five thousand and a fifty. 
thousand signing bonus. And Ricky Jade likes that, and he is in for us. It's beautiful. Love to see that. Love to see it. Now, if I could bring an Odafin as well, that'd be a very successful window, in my opinion. He's just, he's just going to be a very reserved player. But if I can bring him in, that'd be clutch. Or even... Mama D. Camara. Out of Guinea Bissau. What if I try to bring. Oh, let's bring in Odafin, I think. Yeah, let's bring in Odafin. From Rotterdam. I'll offer a million for him. 8% selling clause, that's fine, because I don't think I'm ever going to sell him. And that's beautiful. Odafin is in. He will be a sporadic player, I hope. Oh, he wants to be an important player. Absolutely not. No chance he's coming in then. No chance. No chance you're going to be an important player on this team. Um, well, okay. Well, that's our short list now. And that's going to be our team, it appears. I'm happy with it, and I'm ready to move forward into, wait, wait, I want to make sure that, I want to do a few things, I want to make sure these guys are all developing how I want them to, so Lewis, I want him, I guess, to be just a better goalkeeper in general. <laughs> um, James Cooney, for example, I want to make sure he's developing in the fastest way that he can. Attacking wide back seems to be exactly what I want him to be. That works. Uh, Cohen Bramwell is 27. I don't think it matters. James Jones, 26 years old. He's not, and his contract's about to expire, so don't know if I want to do anything more of him. And this defensive center back role for Odusina. Aiden Clark, though, is somebody I want to really develop and take over this year. Take over part of that spot. Defensive center back is what we'll work him up as. Norton Cuffey. Let's see what his thing is. Let's see if we can get him up to anything. Wide back would be a good one, I think, to work with. So we'll do that. Regan Ogle, I'm not worried about that. Brendan Weirdo, let's see how much we can squeeze out of him. He, he, I want him to be... Uh, Deep-lying playmaker works for me. It'll be faster for him. Backinson, the 24-year-old, he is almost done developing, but he's in excellent form for us, so that's a good thing. I guess we'll make him a ball-winning defender. Ewan Forsyth, 17-year-old Scotsman. He is continuing to develop for us, playing very well. I want him to be a ball-winning defender at this point. Mark Shelton, his contract is expiring in a few months. Ethan Griffith. I'd like him to be... Oh, God, he's as fast as he gets, isn't he? Yep. All right, so he's on loan... Kate Gordon, I know we're already working on him. Joe Gray, what are you developing as? A wide winger. If we can do invert support winger, wide playmaker even. That's faster, it looks like. Victor Holm, his contract's expiring soon. And he is, like, tapped on potential, too. Wow, yeah, he stinks. All right, we're not going to bring him back, that's for sure. Thomas Asante's moving the right wing. Burke is a target man. That's right. Uh, Olamola, I do want to bring back. Ricky J. Jones needs to be more of, like, I'm thinking like a complete striker. Improve that weak foot. He's already very fast. Sean McMullen already developing quite fast. 
So, and then I'm going to do this delegate renewals. I usually do this earlier. That's fine. We'll do that renewal of Olamola. He is back as a sporadic player. Victor Holm is not going to be somebody I bring back. Depends on what role that Mark Shelton would want. A rotation player. For two years. We're going to reject that. Maybe at the end of the year. Will be more intriguing to me. Uh, James Jones is going to want an important role, isn't he? Yes. We're going to reject that for now. And that's how our team is going to look for now, then. Okay. Perf. Let's make sure our kick takers and everything makes sense. Odusina is our captain. Kick takers. It looks like Burke is going to be our best free kick guy. But Forsyth isn't bad either. Short free kick. I mean, let's go with him. Let's go with him on the short left short free kicks. Long shots. We'll stick with our guy Ollie Burke. Penalties, um, definitely not going to be Burke. I might be Thomas Asante. Gordon is even good at that. So we have Gordon for the penalties. Uh, left corner, definitely not Burke. Kidding me? It's going to be Forsyth. I think the right corner might be Burke too. Or Forsyth, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, Forsyth will do both of the corner kick instruction. Is it there? I think our team's even better after that setup. Shit. All right. Um, yeah, I'm excited about the club. I'm excited about the club. Blackburn Rovers will be our first matchup. Thomas Asante is officially ready to change positions for us. Back to right wing, right where I want him to be. And I really want him to improve his crossing. So I think it might be um, wide playmaker that we work with now. I think that's our best option. I'm excited about what he brings to the club. Now back at right wing. Uh, Alex Mitchell's not that good. Not somebody I'm interested in. Hannibal Amejbri. We will see if Hannibal will accept a loan here. It'd be dope if he did. I'd start him over Forsyth. Um, try a two-year loan. We'll accept that. Split the wages. It's going to be half to be down like this. No, hell no. Hell no. We'll do a 50-50 split. 60-40, uh, whatever, fine. And then that's the transfer sum, and we'll accept that. Beautiful. So we'll see if we get Hannibal in. I doubt it, but it's worth a shot see if we get him in on the loan. If not, he's got to keep an eye on in the future. Christopher Adiemi is a guy that I think I might sign up to the squad. We'll approach to sign him on a quick short-term deal, probably. He would go move in. He'll be a rotation player, yeah. Perfect. Sign him to a five-year deal, perhaps. No release clause. I'm fine with that. And, yeah, I'll do the 1-7 here. I'll just give him a $25,000 signing bonus. How do you feel about that? And there we go. Add Yemi's in. He was a good enough... He was definitely a good enough player for me to be interested in just to sign right away. 17 years old. Can play a nice variety of positions. He'll replace home at the end of the year now. So Ed Yemi gets into the lineup. And, oh, fuck, I forgot Ola Mullen needs to come out. Ricky J. Jones needs to be placed in. And here he is. So J. Jones and Burke will probably split time. Ed Yemi will be their wing option. We're going to teach him how to play right wing as well. Um, maybe eventually passing Thomas Asante up, moving Thomas Asante to the bench. 
Uh, we have a lot of flexibility now, a lot of options. I like it. I like it, I like it. I just wish I had one more defensive mid. I, or uh, One more midfielder, I think, is the one thing I th that we are missing in the scheme of things. Maybe a center back down here as well. But I think we have a solid club. And let's see how it goes. Oh, wait, wait. Let's get into the left wing. Make sure we move him to the right wing. Get him moving the right wing for sure. And now we get to see how our team is going to perform. In this champ in the championship, uh, I think center the, our defense is definitely our weak spot. I'm really hoping Cooney and and or Norton Cuffey, one of them, uh, develops quickly. Um, we definitely need a center back though as well. That's definitely going to be a priority in the next transfer window for us if we have the money for it. Even we'll do a quick sim against Blackburn, see how we do. We draw with them. Asante scored. Uh, Gordon scored as well, so the two wingers putting up points for us. Good to see. I'll take, uh, like I said, I just want to avoid relegation. I don't think we're ready to move up to the Premier League. Hannibal declined our loan option, not a surprise. We're not ready for Premier League action. Uh, St. Pauli offering for Roshan Williams. I'm going to reject because I think we still need him. And we got squad reports available. Let's take a look at this squad here. Jeez, I don't think Cameron Pike is worth keeping around. I'm going to release him. Uh, but these guys, I think, still are worth keeping around. We'll see how they do as they develop more. And let's take a look at these reports. Are any of these guys worth signing? No. And is this guy worth any of these guys worth signing? Yes, Adam Baker certainly is worth taking a look at. So we'll bring him in, and I think we're going to fire some of our youth staff and hire new guys since we have the money to do so. I think we can fire Johan Bjork here and hire a much better scout. We have enough to hire this guy here, Dominic Williamson, and I'm certainly going to do it. Certainly, certainly going to do it. He is a wonderful scout. We're going to recall Tony Thomas as well. And um, we're just going to send these guys out different places. We're going to send Dominic Williamson out to England for sure. For sure. Nine months trip. But we don't have the money to do that, do we? Okay, we'll send him on a three-month trip, I guess. Um, shit. Didn't even consider the fact we wouldn't have money to send anyone out. We'll send him on a three-month trip. We'll send Bailey on a three-month trip to Wales. Or is that where he just was? He was just there. We'll send him up to Scotland for three months. Oh, we don't have the budget. How much money do we have? 52K. Jeez. Okay. Okay. We need to sell somebody in the worst way. I have Christensen on the sell list, but nobody fucking wants him. It's frustrating. Oh, here we go. Maybe we have something. No. Mfulu could be a guy to bring in at some point. Thomas setting up a scouting network. Yes, you are. Or I'd like you to set up a scouting network, but I don't have the money for it. Sander Moen Foss. Interesting. We need to get through this transfer window. Or we need to sell somebody right now. And honestly, I really don't even care who it is. Harvey Vale. I might sell home now, perhaps. We can add him to the transfer list. It's a right winger. I don't think we'll be having him long term. Fulham, number one in the league right now. They are a Premier League side, uh, or a former Premier League side, so I'm expecting them to be a good team. And I think we have to play our starters in this one. 
I don't care if they're not rested. I feel like we they need to play. Harvey Elliott, is he really an option here? There's no way I can afford him. No, God, no. Wow, I can't believe they even put him in there. Uh, da, 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 da. Ashley Fletcher. No, he's not good playing for Watford. Let's see, we got Fulham now. We'll see how it goes. Give it a go. And we are wrecked by Fulham. That's exactly what I expected to happen. We are not that good of a side yet. We're going to need at least one more year in the championship. I have no doubt in my mind. Sam Stubbs is not good. And we have a game against Harrogate Town now. Ogle, a transfer offer for Reagan Ogle. I can't afford to sell him. He's not going to net me enough money. It's got to be Christensen and, and or Holm. I'm hoping one of them gets an offer soon. Let's take a look at some of these other players that are now in the scouting options. Chun So Tang looks ridiculous. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, nobody else really intrigued me. So we have this game against Harrogate Town. It's a cup game. I'm really not that invested in it, so I think we need to set some set some of these guys down. Thomas Asante mainly. So Adiemi will play in this one. I think Gordon will still no, the Gordon's not gonna play either, I don't think. But he'll be off the bench. And we'll bring in we'll bring in home. I want home to be able to play, I guess, and boost his value. Uh, Burke will sit in favor of Ricky J. Jones. Let's see what else we can do here. Shelton will play for Forsyth. And Backinson will sit in favor of I think we got to put in Christensen and then just put Weirdu up in the uh, central mid spot. He can play there. He can do it. Cooney will sit in favor of Bramel. Killip will sit in favor of Lewis just so he keeps his rotation going. Um, we'll play Roshan Williams over James Jones. I think that'll be it. We'll see how the team does against Harriet Town. It is a 2-1 victory over Harrogate. Holm and Jones score. Ricky J. Jones scoring in his first appearance with the team, or his first start with the team. Love to see that. Good stuff, Victor Holm. I really don't care. I want you off the team. move up here. Peterborough, who we just... Or this is QPR, I'm sorry. Whoops. Ricky J. Jones wants to play again. Honestly, I'm inclined to give him that wish. He scored last game. Um, why not? Instead of Oliver Burke. Leo Connor, he looks intriguing. Some of these players I must have missed in the scouting options. We really need to sell some guys. God damn, I can't believe we haven't yet. All right, and for this game, we need to sit. We're going to sit Burke, and we're going to play Ricky J. Jones again. And uh, James Jones is going to sit in favor of... We'll play, and we'll give Aiden Clark some time. See how he does in this spot against QPR. And QPR gets the win over us. Cooney got a goal, his first, I think, with the big club. Good for him. Adiemi is ready to switch over to right wing. Perfect. And then what else can he do? We can increase his playmaking ability. Wide playmaker is what we're going to increase with him. Don't blame yourself, Ricky. It's okay. But now I think we got to go back to Oliver Burke. Wood able to switch over to center mid in the um, Youth Academy. So that's a solid thing to see. I think we need to increase box to box, no doubt. 
No doubt we need to increase that. He is not in a good spot. And we have Huddersfield next. This is a big game for us because they're right above us on the table. I think we need to get a dub out of it. Will we, though, is the question. <laughs> None of those players intrigue me. I need to change the scouting instructions, too, after this transfer window ends. All right, so I think we're going to sit Gordon in this one, and Adiemi is going to play. Cooney will stay in since he scored. Odusina is going to come out in favor of Roshan Williams. Um, and then Norton Cuffey is also going to sit in favor of... Uh, I'm going to play Bramble in that spot. And then Cooney will move over to right wing for today. Or right back for today. Let's see how we do against Huddersfield. Oh, we get wrecked. Oh, man, our team is not good. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to be in a relegation battle. We are definitely going to be in a relegation battle. This sucks. Okay. And we have West Brom next, which is a team that's been in the Premier League recently. So I am not holding my breath thinking that we're going to do anything good here. See how it goes. I think we're going to sit Forsyth in this one. And we're going to play Shelton instead. And that results in a 2 0 loss to West Brom. We are getting wrecked here. I'm not happy with West Brom at all, or with this team right now. We need to avoid relegation in the worst way. Sander, Mo, and Fo, Fo, Foss is okay. Harvey Vale is a good player. But we just don't have a spot for him to come in and play right now. If we were even to get him in on a loan. Ow, fuck. I have a big scab on my knee. I just hit it off my desk. It did not feel good. Uh, these players are not anyone that I am interested in signing. I can try to get Harvey Vale, I guess. We should try to get the loan deals done. He looks really good, actually. Holy fuck. Basic terms. Two-year loan. We can't even afford that. Oh, we can't afford him at all. We need them to take all, the, all of it. <laughs> All right, suits us. Settle 50-50, whatever. See if he accepts it or not. I don't know how I was able to accept that deal since we don't have the funds, but see what happens. I doubt he's going to come in anyway. He's going to reject it outright. He was going to reject it anyway. All right, we'll play Ricky J. Jones in this one. Adiemi. Uh, Lewis is going to get some time at goalkeeper. Jones is going to come out in favor of Roshan Williams. Coffee out in favor of Ogle. And I think that's the only moves we're going to change here. We'll see if we can beat Cambridge United in the cup game. We do. Why are we winning? Adiemi scored twice. That's intriguing to me. I don't know why we. It sucks that we're winning these games uh, that don't matter while we are losing the ones that do. We're in last place, I believe. Uh, Vale turned down his loan offer. Victor Holm, we have an offer for him finally. And I'm going to try to eke out 900k out of him. Let's see if we can do it. 810 with the selling clause, uh, with the 4% selling clause. That's fine by me. Um, Victor Holm's going to go. It's going to give us some breathing room money wise. Uh, to be able to send our scouts out on missions here. And we also have, we have another offer for home, 850. I'll accept that as well. But Killip, uh, we are not going to sell be selling Killip, I don't think. Yeah, we're going to reject that offer for him. Uh, 
Okay. We have Bristol City next. They are sixth in the league right now. Holmes transfer talks ended. He did not accept that move. Are you serious? Uh, at least he has another one to look at now. I hope he accepts it or I'm going to be pissed. I need that man off my team. Um, Ben Kaminda, big guy. I don't think he's going to be anything good. But hey, why not? Why not? We're not scouting anything else really right now, so why not give it a look? And let's see how we do against Bristol City. We're going to go with the starting lineup that we have out there. Backinson is going to be playing against his former club. See how he does. Oh. God, we scored. Gordon scored, but we still lose 2-1. We need to be gaining points. We're going to fall behind pretty quickly if we don't. I'm going to have to start playing some games soon. We're already two points out of safety behind Blackburn. And Holm is sold. That's wonderful. So we do get some money from Victor Holm. It's very wonderful news. And that means we can now also send out our scouts. We'll send him up to Scotland for a six month stay. I'm going to send you up to Republic of Ireland for a six month stay. And then I think we'll do a Northern Ireland, and I think I might move into Africa scouting after that. That's huge that we were able to sell home, get that breathing room, money-wise. Very excited about it. I would really like to sell Christensen as well, since I know he's not going to be back next year and his contract's going to expire. But I don't think anyone's going to offer for him. We'll go through the countdown here and see if somebody does... Leo Connor, and we get his scouting report. He is not that, he's nothing really fancy. And let's take a look at some of these other guys. Didier Gambinolo, don't need him. Don't really need any of these guys, none of them. Carl Naismith kind of looked interesting there. Or Cal Naismith, I should say. Left foot, he seems like a very good player. I could use a better center back. Maybe he would be worth uh, taking a look at. Alvaro Dominguez could be a guy to look at it, loaning in at some point, a goalkeeper. But let's see what we get, what happens here with our countdown. Sandro Tonali going to Everton for 108 million. Uh, Ronald Arujo going to uh, Piedmont Calcio, which would be uh, Juventus in this game. Wow, it got so dark here. It must be it must have it must be rain likely coming outside. Let's see here. Nobody coming in with offers for Magnus Christensen. That's worrisome. Hopefully some will come in later. Oh, what we got here? Cooney. Atlanta United are interested in buying James Cooney. I'm gonna reject that offer. Because I think Cooney has some room to grow still. Nothing here. Nothing. And we don't get any offers that came in. We have a youth squad report here. And it's England scouting. With our really good scout. I don't want that guy. Definitely don't want that guy. Not that guy. Ryan Waits might be a guy to take a further look at, but that's it. Take a look at our squad monthly report. Uh, th things are going swimmingly. We have Adam Baker here, the 15-year-old winger. Uh, he looks like he could honestly be a better striker than anything. Is he big? No. His dribbling, I mean, maybe even like his weak foot and his skill moves. Holy shit, he's going to be an attacking midfielder, I think. I want him in an attacking midfield spot. 
32 weeks it would take to get him there. All right, just moving the striker then. He's definitely a striker in the making. More strikers I can get trained, the more I can sell for good money. So I'm hyped about that. And with that, now we have our guys listed to sell. I don't think I'm selling anyone else. And let's just see how it goes here. Let's see how far we can get. Middlesbrough. We will sim this game against Middlesbrough. Oh, wait, I forgot to change the scouting. Oh, well, we'll do that after this. Uh, against Middlesbrough, Hartlepool. Do we get a dub? No, another loss. Two to one. We're getting these close losses. We need some points in the worst way. We are in last three points adrift from safety. Derby County is coming in next. Let's look at these guys real quick, and then we will adjust our scouting preferences. I think I have a good idea of what we need. Scout instructions, uh, I think, excuse me, we don't need the strikers anymore. I think we're good there. Um, the promising guys at fullback, I don't think we're really looking for at this point. I'm looking more for uh, established guys. I'm looking for established everything at this point almost. So I think everything goes. Uh, we definitely need a goalkeeper. And I want them to be first team quality for this, uh, for our squad. Uh, so that's the first thing. I also wanted to be tall. That's what I wanted, tall. I knew there was another thing I wanted to add. Um, and then we're also going to be looking at center backs. they got to be first team quality for sure. I would like them to be tall and strong guys. So those are certainly scouting instructions we need to be looking at. Um, what else could we use? Um... I feel like we could use a better, or we definitely need another mid, just central midfield in general, I think. Uh, box to box guys, first team quality, box to box for sure, is who I'm going to be looking for in that spot. Because I, I, I honestly, I think I could take it in a central attacking mid, a defensive mid, regular center mid, um, down for all of those things. And then, geez, what else do we bring in? Maybe like. Maybe we do, but go back to the promising fullbacks. Maybe even a better winger. Uh, I think we're good at the winger spots now. Yeah, I think we go back to the fullbacks, promising pacey. Promising pacey guys. They got to be 16 to 24. And those will be what our new scouting profiles are. I think they are all very fair assessments of what this team needs right now. And we will keep moving forward with that being said. Derby County, 16th in the championship right now. I'll think about playing Reagan Ogle. If he really has been playing well, then maybe he does deserve to jump in. Because um, I don't think Norton Cuffey's really been doing anything. Maybe we'll move him in to this spot, off the, onto the bench. If he plays, he plays. If he doesn't, he doesn't. And let's see what we do for Hartlepool against Derby County. Can we get at least a point? Yes, we can. Gordon scoring our third goal in the 88th minute. He scored two in the game total. Ties Derby County. At least we get a point out of it. Gets us out of the one-point hole we were in. And what is this? We're in a European competition? Champions League. What? What? Oh, this has to be... It had to be a glitch. That had to be a glitch. Let's see, there's no way I'm in the Champions League. The fuck are we talking about? Okay, I don't know what just happened there. Some type of weird glitch. But um, as you can see, we're 23rd in the table here. 
And we are advancing to play Nottingham Forest. And we have an option to change Adam Baker's position to striker, which we do swiftly. And he is just such a good player. I don't... I think Poacher might be the best thing for him to learn how to do. Yeah. So that's what we're going to give him to teach. Ben Kaminda, terrible player. I don't know what Timmy Odusina is all talking about. He's the captain. It's got to be something leadership related. <laughs> um, see, I think I missed some of these players as I looked through. Or as I didn't look through, I should say. Nobody new here, really, that we haven't seen already. Um... Yeah, I know Kane Kessler Hayden is a solid player. I'm gonna keep an eye on him, I guess. Put him back on the short list. Harrison Ashby's not fast enough for me to be interested. He's not good. Thought he was better. Central mid box to box guys that are good. It appears they they're not fast enough for my liking. And yeah, yeah, we're all set up. We're all set then. Lit. And we have Nottingham Forest 14th in the league at the moment. Hoping we can pull off a dub or a get a point against them. Give it to me, please. No, we get wrecked. We are not even close to being on the same level as some of these guys, some of these teams. I think this year we're just going to have to eat shitty play and uh, just develop guys and make them better so we can compete next year for the championship. Because this is not going to work here. I can tell you that. We'll just keep him working his target, man, I guess. He, the, Oliver Burks at his development schedule plan. And we have Chettleham Chel Town here. Kai Naismith is a very... He's a good player. I mean, if it, I can buy him, I might try to sign Kai Naismith. Even just for, like, a one-year deal. Just for the rest of the year or something. He seems like a great player. Let's be crucial. We'd accept that. One year. I'm going to accept that. This help us compete in the championship here. <sighs> if I give him that. God damn. Does that work? I'll give him 8k if he just takes zero signing bonus. Or what if I just give him like 7k and zero signing bonus? And negotiation, I can't afford him. Maybe in the off season though. He's an intriguing guy to keep an eye on. Dominguez, ooh, 69 overall already. Six foot six, showing great potential. He's a guy I might try to loan in. Alvaro Dominguez. Luke Wouters joins that list. Benjamin Seagreast. He is not that good. Uh don't care about Tony Arias. So let's see. Let's let's bring in some backups for this one. Killip will sit in favor of Lewis. Burke will sit for Jade Jones. Ricky Jade, I should say. Thomas Asante is out there. We'll to give a rest to Gordon since he's a little gassed. Jones will sit for Roshan Williams. Cuffy and Cooley will both play. I think that's going to be our lineup against Chetelham or Cheltenham. 
four nil over Cheltenham. Jesus, why can't we do that against anyone in the fucking championship? Why is it always the cup games that we're dominating like that? Bullshit is what I say. Let's see, we got Bournemouth coming up, it looks like. They are fourth in the league, and I'm going to play this one, I think. Why not? It's about time we played something, or I played something. It's just been a lot of setup so far, so why not take a shot? Finley Hodges, is he good? Oh my god, a Granada. He looks like a freak. Niels and Conkalu is a guy I would be interested in at some point, probably. Kijana Hover. I don't think about Kijana Hover. Goalkeeper, yeah, it's a fucking Newcastle has so many. Thanks, inter interested user. Uh, yeah, I am a career mode streamer indeed. If you like the content, you can uh, subscribe or follow here on Twitch. And if you want to watch the earlier parts of this career mode, you can watch on YouTube. The link is in the bio. Seth Van Dam is going to be scouted by me. Newcastle has so many goalies in this game for some reason. Um, awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that, interested user 54. And I'm going to play this game against Bournemouth, because why not? See how we do. Need to get a dub. Need to get a dub in this one just to get back into uh, contention or out of the relegation zone. And uh, let's see, is it, we get the first time playing with a lot of these new players. Let's see how it goes. And uh, disclaimer, I have not played FIFA in weeks, so I could be really rusty. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. There we go. Getting an easy card early. Yellow on Jordan Zamora. Yeah, I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there he's not going to take any messing about here. All right, let's see what we got. Norton Cuffey. I'm going to try to stay up top. Good thing I did, but I still lost that to him. Oh, there you go, Brendan Weiradu. I think he's our best player, Weiradu. Especially now that Papaga was sold. Great block by Ujusina. Oh, nobody's there. Wow, that was uh, pretty pathetic. Easy goal for Bourne with the start, and I do not like how easily they just ran well, down the field on us. And it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then the finish is Do you stream interested That's user 54? Goal. Do you stream career mode? How important will that opening goal prove to be? On a goal to let you know about in the Millwall game. Let's find there out we go, Jerry Boyd right around him with Gordon. Yep. Get it up. Uh, Berg too far for him. Keeping us right up to date. Philip Billing on the offensive, but quick there thinking we'll defensively. Take that back. Thank you. Oh no! I had him. I had him up top. Jefferson Lerma. I know, it gets so sweaty playing career mode against the CPU. Oh. Oh, why did you not just pick it up, kill up? That's fine, that's fine. We good, we good. Jones on the ball. Well, time to send it over to Alex Scott now, because Alex, I believe there's been a goal in the Millwall game. No way is he offside. You've got to be kidding. He didn't make it back? Thomas Asante isn't back on this play. That's unbelievable. What a ridiculous call. Ooh, there we go. James Jones right there to steal it. Now we're going to go over to top like that this time, the Thomas Asante. Great work. We got a man open down there, and he... Oh, 
I can't. I, I pass it too late. I saw Gordon open, and I my eyes lit up. They lit up so big, I'm sure, but I could not complete the pass. I hesitated. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Ooh. James Cooney will just sidestep that guy. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Burke now with it. Up to Gordon. No, he was offside. Gordon was offside. That was going to be a goal. That was beautiful work, I thought. He is offside, isn't he, by a good bit? Yep. Then we had the guys open now. I don't know if that was the midfielders because Burke was outside. It had to be a midfielder who was going to be open to knock that in. I'm feeling better about our performance now. Why can't we do this in sim? Maybe I'm just that good of a player. <laughs> Probably not. Hartlepool are in the fourth division, but this is at my third season, and we're in championship already. Got promoted to League One, uh, to League One in the first season, and got promoted to championship last season. Playoffs and to get from League Two, but automatic promotion into championship this year. We've made some very good, modest moves and uh, have developed some solid youth players to help us get there as quickly as we have. Probably a little bit of luck too. But yeah, we're in the championship now, and I have no business uh, going much further than that anytime soon. No. Alex, thank you very much. Stay on side, please. No, they're going to say he was off there. Oh. I did a Harrogate Town career mode before. Um, I, um, I've done Harrogate Town. Didn't stream. It was before I was streaming. It was in FIFA 21. But I did one and got them into the Premier League. I didn't go much further than that, though. I think I got... Uh, Bo not bored or frustrated, either bored or frustrated, one of the two. Ah, shit. Yeah, they deserve to be up. I don't know if they deserve to be up 2-0 there. But they are. I love Gordon here. I think he's going to be my new favorite player. Oh! I don't know where that cross was going. Tried to get it to Thomas Asante's head, but the goalkeeper got it. No, okay. Thanks. Thank you. No, that hit the defender. Jesus Christ. I'm getting unlucky here. I'm trying to pull back, too. I, have, I know I can do it. I certainly can do it. I've done it against AI or against users before and seasons so I can definitely do it against the AI well they've struggled in this first half they've been out full out played and out run they need to improve all aspects of their play in the second half it's not even like I feel like I haven't even played that bad though too this is why I'm like confused I'm just giving up too much shit too much easy shit trying to pick out a teammate and the danger clear oh I took the guy down. I don't know how I didn't get fouled for get a foul call on that. Cooney. Oh, he lost it again. Really vital interception here. Oh, God damn! I did, that's not where I wanted to pass it at all. I'm falling apart right now. Weirdo. Thank God he's there. Terrible pass on my part. I'm too jumpy. There we go. Okay, let's hold this for a hot sec with Cooney. Let's let people readjust. Fine. Oh, I didn't even realize it was going to be the end of the half. I'll take it. All right, we're down 2-0, but I think we can come back here in the second half. I'm not concerned. Brooks coming on for Christy for Bournemouth already. It was a halftime sub. I don't know how I just didn't destroy that guy. Norton Cuffey. There you go, that's right to kill it. 
We'll go to Norton Cuffy here. He spins out his guy, and he's got some wheels. He's got some wheels, Norton Cuffy. And they're just going to let him go with it. That's a mistake. That's going to be a mistake. Oh, god damn it. I had Burke right there. Just couldn't get his fucking head on it. Or any body part. Oh! Sir! Another yellow coming out for Bournemouth's guys. Two yellows for them now. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day. Oh, no way. Committed challenge. Norton Cuffey out here just dancing around players. And they're just not going to cover him again. It's fine by me. Oh, no. Up on the other foot, Thomas Asante. The pass could do damage. I can't believe I, got, I did not give up a goal there. I cannot believe I did not give up a goal there. Thomas Asante now. Oliver Burke. Oh my god. He's so bad with that header. That was be that, that was it. And he's just so mistimed it. Oh my god. Adiemi's going to come in now for Thomas Asante. He's probably going to be gas for how much I've been running with him. I cannot believe how terrible that header attempt was by Burke. It's wide open. Maybe I should have just try to bring it down. I do not have time to read that whole message right now. Newcastle career mode. I love Newcastle's my favorite team uh, to root for in real life. So that is dope that you got them the championship in eight years. Hopefully that's their. I feel like they have to have like a ten year plan with the new Saudi group in there to where that's their goal win a champions league within 10 years maybe even eight <laughs> if they can get it but 10's got to be their goal i would think oh that's a great block get the ball out of there come on i'm so scared to tackle because i don't i'm in the box Oh, my Lord. Yeah, they do basically have infinite money, but fair play uh, restrictions are going to stop them from spending all of it. Oh. Man. And Yemi. And Demi. Terrible. We have Backinson coming out for Shelton. That is unlucky indeed. Of all, I mean, it's not like Bournemouth doesn't deserve to be up right now, but I feel like I should be like within one, maybe. I got around the Cooney's not as fast as I would like him to be. There we just catch that kill it. Throw it down. Oh, I didn't see that guy because my head was in the way, but that works. That works. Forsyth with it. Forsyth can take it up. Forsyth. Oh, how did that guy defender get to it first? Oh, I thought I had that to Backinson. I think that was Backinson. There's a find. There's a goal. Grab the ball. Was that Forsyth? What a shot. No, that's... Oh, that's, um... Fuck, I already forgot his name. Fucking, um... Our Gordon, our big-time uh, free agent, or transfer acquisition, gets it to him, buries it right in the corner. He was never going to get a chance at Liverpool. Thank you, sir. Or madam, I don't know. I'm going to keep this one now. We got it right back here, coming right down the field. Oh, I couldn't do anything. That guy was offside. And I tried to get around. Didn't work. We still got 15 minutes to try to tie this one up. There we go. Back away there. Cooney is... Or, I don't, is that Cooney? Yeah, that's Cooney. Cooney's done great today in defense. I, mean, I can't believe that just happened. I hit X way earlier. Oh, fuck. 
Morton, Morton Coffey trying to get over there. And tidily played. A chance to whip it in. What are they going to do with this? There you go. Beautiful block. Goes right to our guy. Uh, goal is to win a Champions League with Hartlepool. TBH. At least win a major title, so at least a Premier League title. Oh, that guy was really fast. I didn't realize. <laughs> Almost got him in there, though. Oh, and I mistimed that terribly. That's unlucky. Morton Coffee block. Good work. That's way too hard to hit. I have five minutes here to go try to tie this and get a point. I know I have make forward runs on, and uh, that, that's what my style is. They just uh, aren't going. Get that out of there. Get that. Get, why are you letting him get his head on it? All right, we'll bring in Christensen here, just a big head for Forsyth. Or he's going to be a big guy just to get down there. Oh, God. No! I hit down for the... I wanted to get a Norton Cuffey. Oh, that's frustrating. I don't even think I'm going to get the ball back. That's so frustrating. That they passed it there instead of to Norton Coffee like it should have. All right, yeah, we definitely took the L in this one. But you know, at least uh, I played and got something. I know I notice a lot of teams in the lower English ranks play like ridiculous amount of uh, pressure football, but whatever. So whatever. We'll take it on the chin there. I mean, it's not like we weren't already losing games and in a relegation spot. At least we aren't last unless the other team got a win. It was below us at one point. I don't know if it's undeserved. I think I deserve the draw. I don't why does it keep showing me in the fucking Champions League? That's so weird. It's gotta be a glitch. But let's see. We got scouting reports. Fitzsimmons, Trash, uh, Duncan Mackey, Trash. I'm well, not Trash, but not good enough. Let's take a look at some of these players. Any of them intrigue me to scout? I don't think so. Uh, da, da, da. Um, I don't know. Overall wise, I think my best player is Oliver Burke right now. Oh, we have that guy scouted already. We'll see though. It was William Bapaga, but he is gone as of this year. I feel like Ayakavidi is pretty good for some reason. I feel like I recognize the name. I don't want either of them. I already looked at them, I think. I mean, yeah, I've looked at all these guys. All right, yeah, my best player is... Actually, it's going to be Gordon for sure. It's definitely going to be Gordon because he's only 18. Said he's an exciting prospect. Got him from Liverpool. He's definitely going to be good. Um, but otherwise, it's a tie between him, Weiradu, and Burke right now. Let's try signing out of Yemi since you're in the championship. I don't have any money right now. I went through the transfer budget already. So um, I'm just scouting guys right now. I'm just trying to s just not be relegated. What? What just happened? I got three points out of that. I did. Okay. This gave me a three 0 win for some reason. This weird glitch. So I'll I'll take it, I guess. Uh, now we have Reading. I'm gonna play this one too since they're fourth in the league. I'll play top five teams. That's basically what I mo. None of these guys look new to me or worth signing. 
Oliver Burke's going on international duty with Scotland. Does that mean he's actually going to be gone? Because that would suck. I think that, that that's what that means. Callum Wright, I think, is good playing for Leicester. He could be an intriguing player. Okay, let's play Redding here. See if we can get three points off of them. I'm going to go with the same starting lineup, I think. Uh, no need to make any changes. What time is it? 7 o'clock. I think I'll probably play for another like half hour and give off. I don't know if I'll get to my typical uh, end of the first transfer window stopping point. Might just sim the, to the rest of that at some point. Uh, you got we'll I'll stop when next game I'm going to play. Let's see if we can get a win against Reading. Fourth in the table. They're in a promotion conversation right now to the Prem. We're just trying to stay in the championship. And I fucked that up. I fucked that. That's all on me. That's all on me. I got him out of position completely. And that's a terrible start. Aziz scoring three minutes into the game. Whoop. Whoop. I'll take that, I guess. Uh, Gordon, I thought, was going to get a card thrown, or was going to get something to help there. Oh, shit. Terrible cross. I have all these big guys to win headers, too, but I just don't put it in the right spot. Terrible user error on my part to start this game. That's good defense there. Right, I think Alex has a goal to let us know about in the Blackpool match. That's a great play by Odusina, making sure that was picked up. Alex keeping us right up to date. Oh, okay. I couldn't get through two of them. Unfortunate. Barberis. And a good looking pass. That's a useful cross. Get that out of really the ideal clearance. Right over for now, it seems. Yeah, I'm at Reading. Well, for this one. On the flank here. Oh! He got the ball? The cross is on. Oh, shit. He had to get to the ball and I, he did. I, I can't believe he got the ball right when I was going to hit, when I was crossing it before. Barberis. McIntyre. Swift. Chance to do damage. Come on. There we go. Cooney again. Cooney's been a defensive fiend in these games I've been playing. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. Difficult to stop him. And the cross into the middle. No no. Get rid of that. McIntyre. We'll let it go. That works for me. All right. Down to Cooney here. Reverse the field. That's a good find. The Bur or Yeah, that's Burke, I think. Or that's not Burke. Who is this? I don't know who that is, but they're scoring. Is this Forsyth? How many countries are in the United States? I don't know. Two, I guess. The one that I want it to be and the one that it isn't right now. What a play here. Great pass. Kicks it to himself. Who is, is that Forsyth? I'm doing so well with you and Forsyth, and I really did not think he was going to be a long-term player on this team, but I might have to reevaluate that. He's still so young. I think he's 17 still from Scotland, but I don't think his potential was anything more than like a 78 or something. I guess he could be on the team long term here, playing for us into the Prem. That's a great goal by Forsyth. We've tied the game, Morrison. deserved, and now we're going to work to try to get that lead. It might be on for them. And struggling to get the shot off. 
Good save, Killip. Definitely need better defensive backs and a better goalkeeper for the next time I have money. Those are going to be the priority positions to upgrade. Yes, team is very, very young. Wow, are you serious? What am I even supposed? I can't even do any. I can't even be mad about it. But like, wow. <sighs> That's so ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. Oh yeah, yeah. I give up that bullshit. God, it's not even Killip's fault. He can't do anything. Oh, that's. Oh, it's my free kick. Okay. I thought I was going to give them a free kick. Hard to read that pass. That was, I don't know what the hell that was. Send that up. Beautiful. Find up the Cuffy. Oh, I shouldn't have cut down with it. Uh, I predetermined my move before I looked and to see where Burke was in position. Should have been another opportunity. There we go. Just get rid of that. I don't want him playing in here. Yeah, you probably are my only viewer, man. I usually end up getting one or two. Michael Morrison. But I still always talk through it all because I put these on YouTube after, so. And it gives me practice for when I eventually have, when I'll eventually have hundreds of viewers, thousands of viewers. <laughs> if I'm ever that lucky. That guy is a million miles offside. I don't know what he was doing. I'll take this, though. Burke. No, Burke's got to finish that. Forsyth gave it up, even though he already has a goal in this game. Ooh. I thought I lured him back offside. I guess not. Oh, that's a great pass. Oh, it's half. Oh, that's my best pass of the game. How unfortunate. I don't have any really good Academy prospects. Oh, yeah. I mean, I have good younger guys that I'm hoping are going to be better by the time I get to the Prem. Yeah. That's the whole goal here. So I'm trying not just not to get... To, I'm, like, not ready for the Premier League right now. I would get absolutely direct and re relegated immediately in the Premier League. So that's why I'm just trying to stay afloat here in the Champions Championship. So I can continue to, develop, to develop and get into the Prem. Oh. Oh, no, I thought you were going to keep running. Weirdo. Why did you stop? Sir. Oh my god, how did that even get through? Should have never gotten through. Well, who would dare predict the outcome of matches in the championship? This is one to look forward to live on EA TV. Whoa, okay. I guess every and defender was just ready and rearing to, to make that play. It was a low driven cross into a crowded area, but he was there from close range to finish that move off. It's now 1 0 with 54 minutes played. Come on, come on. Okay, uh, he didn't... Okay, good, he did take it out. What a loser.
Oh, oh god damn, gosh. I should have hit it harder. Superb block. Well, not the best clearance. That's high level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic. Yeah, I totally agree with you. That's why I just want to stay in the championship for a little bit. I just also don't want to go back to League One. <laughs> And it seems like I'm right on the fringe of being a good, uh, like a championship worthy side. Oh, that's a great pass. Oh, what the hell was that, dude? Gordon. Apparently, you cannot cross the ball worth shit. Your adder, I use your weak foot. And a quick reminder, we have plenty of live football. It's Swansea City next. Right Interesting. I wonder where they're at in the table. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. Whoop. Thank you. On that heavy touch, I'll take it. Norton Cuffey running with it. He is. Oh, God, he wasn't offside. Just couldn't handle the ball. Let's join Alex Scott because Alex, I'm hearing a goal has gone in in the Blackpool game. It's another for Blackburn Rovers. He shot far post, the keeper parries it, but the oh, rebound. Shit. Has been I wanted not nicely. to go to him. Oh, how did you not get the you, ball? <sighs> oh, man, that's a great pass. That's a brilliant pass. Good thing Odusina is fast as hell for the center back. Very comfortable when in possession. The delivery. Kicked it back across. Oh my god. Let's get rid of this fucking ball. Please and thank you. Now a decent position. Oh, God, that was not hit as well as I thought it was. I thought it was Burke first. That's a great pass. It's a great pass. What a finish. What a pass to Gordon. A little flip over the top. I knew he had the speed, and we have tied this game. Deserved. I want to see the replay of that. I hope I get to see the pass. It was a beautiful pass. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal. Yeah, exactly. What a pass. He's got to have that near post cover for me. What a no finish, too. Dang. Gordon, not missing that one. I don't know what the goalkeeper's doing, honestly. Cade Gordon. We're t we tied it against Reading. Can I steal a victory now is the question, or can I at least hang on for a tie? I need to at least get a point out of this. Well, can they open up the defense here? Oh, a nice looking pass. And that'll go out for a corner. I'll take it. A little sweaty there. And we'll bring in Ricky J. Jones. Incredible speed coming in now. So maybe I can just float one over the top and find him. They're taking out Aziz. And they brought in Clark. Who's gonna get on the end of it? There we go, there we go. Now get your head on that too. Oh, okay. That worked surprisingly very well for them. I don't like that. There's a good find. There, there, there. Oh, damn it. I have a guy named Adiemi, but he's not the same one you're thinking of. He's a made up guy out of Nigeria that I signed out of free agency. Oh, Absolutely he got the ball? Shit. Oh, what a save. Kill it. Oh, my God. Now, I can't take out Backinson. He's 6'3", 180 on a corner kick. You need, I need him in the game. There's that Yemi. The 
Young, a uh, different Ed Yemi knocking it through. McIntyre. Barberis. Can he play it in? A glorious chance. Oh my god. Another unbelievable save. I'll take out four save for Shelton. Oh my god. Killip is really just saving the day. Favoring the short one. Clark and pull back. Get to get rid of that. Backinson now with it. Passing it up to Gordon. Does Gordon have the speed to beat this guy? I don't think so. Oh, no way is that ball picked off. You've got to be kidding. What position do you play? In real life. What position do you play in real life? Options in the middle. It's a good find down to Adiemi. There we go. We got away from him. We got away. Oh, what a pass. What a find. Oh, he couldn't finish it, though. That was our last chance. Oh, nice. You're an attacker, then. Fuck. Okay, I'll take a draw, but man, I had that one last opportunity there. Really wish I could have capitalized. But I'll take the point against a top five side in the table right now. And we have six or four points away from safety. Jeez, oh man. Christensen development schedule, that's fine. Uh, that's our youth academy. Let's see what our scout reports see or say. Ryan Waite looks like a very good player, to put it left wing. Alfie Carter, he could be a guy to keep looking at. No, probably not, though. Leon Potter, I'll keep looking at. Jensen Bullock, no thank you. Harley Parsons, I don't think he's going to be any good either. So let's take a look at our squad down here. Harry Harding continuing to improve. I think Ryan Wade, only 15 years old, he's going to be a left wing for sure for me. Great crossing ability, can pass, dribbling's good, good pace. Skill moves are five stars, 71 to 90. Yeah, he's got ridiculous potential. He's moving the left wing instead of playing left mid. He can already play right wing, it said, so this would be a good guy to get over to left wing, let him progress. He's only a 53 overall, but he's also only 15. So, good chance he becomes a lot better quickly. And we'll move forward here. No one, we're playing nobody here in October until Swansea appears. They're 15th in the table. I'm hoping I can get a dub against them. Look at this Finley Hodges guy. Holy hell. Granada has a stud. I wish I could afford that guy. Jesus. Where Sean Williams wants to play? Sure, why not? If he thinks he's got it, we're going to sim it. But first, I want to... Yeah, I'm definitely going to sim it. Got to look through some of these guys. Do I want any of these players? I don't think I have enough money to, buy, to sign any of them right now, but just in the future. Cesar Souza could be an intriguing player out of Angola. A lot of players to look at since I have just simmed a lot. Let's see, yeah, these guys weren't even good when I looked them up the first time. Ian Matson is definitely good, I know that. But he's so short. Kanye, oh, <laughs> I thought that said Kanye, Jesus Christ. Kane Ramsey. Anyone over here that's new to me? No, I don't want any of them. There are some good free agents. I just try not to cheat the system by always signing good free agents. Because that's just like, it's not fun at that point. You get way too good way too fast when you normally wouldn't. Yeah, the cracked free agents. Um, it's just a... Feel too weird signing all of them. Uh, da, 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 um, I don't want to 
on this. I uh, already had all those guys scouted from the other side. All right, so we got Swansea here. I hope we can get the win against them. They're not that great of a team. Um, Roshan Williams wanted to play. So I'll, I'll play him over James Jones. See how he plays. See how he does. And we got a 2-0 victory. Bless. We finally got a win in the championship. Uh, Gordon and Asante each score. We played better if Roshan Williams starting. Maybe we should just start him long term, like all the time, over James Jones. I think that's going to be the move right now until we start playing worse. I'm going to make him the starter. Because Jones has had some real struggles this year. I think it's more just because he's adjusting to the switch up to levels. Oh, God, he's 75 to 94 potential. Oof, he's good. This guy is definitely a top prospect. I don't want him to be an inverted winger. I want him to be a wide winger. He's going to be the future of the team. I think he's not good. thought he was better. And Roshan Williams, yeah, great performance. I'm going to keep you in the starting lineup. And Roshan, we'll see how you do. Take a look at some of these players. Wellington Jr. <laughs> God, I love the Brazilian players' names. Beavis. Where's Butthead? He's got him from Motherwell. I don't think he's going to be any good. See Brandon Rose. Oh, he's only 5'11". If it's a defensive midfielder, he's got to be at least six foot two. And let's see. We got a league matchup here against Birmingham, but again, we have this weird glitch where it says we're in the Champions League, so it gave us three points because it says Birmingham didn't have enough players. I'm not going to argue against it. I guess. Um, whatever. Calum Wright is 23 playing for Leicester. He's not good. Seth Van Dam is not that good either, but he, like, if we track his potential, I guess, uh, he isn't, he's not sh even showing good any potential for Newcastle. So what would be the point? Let's move on up to squares here. We have Coventry. I think I'll probably play Coventry, and that'll be the end of the game for me today. Atkinson is okay. He's already 25. I don't know if it's worth buying a guy that's not that big of an upgrade. Yeah, let's do that. We'll play Coventry, and that'll be the last thing I do in the stream. And yeah, Roshan Williams is going to get the start again. Got a win with him in the lineup. He asked to play in that game. He said he was playing well, and he delivered on it, so... Yeah, let's do it. We are at home, Town Park. And let's see how we do against these guys. Oh, Callum O'Hare is definitely a guy to watch for Coventry. I know he has, at least in FIFA 21, he had like 85 potential playing for fucking Coventry City. So he might be that good again. Kill up with a great stop. James Cooney will be there to clean it up. And they have some pressure going on here, too. Brendan Weirdo, send it up. Uh, I think he's offside. Gordon. Yep. Damn. Just by a fraction. He's got some wheels. We need to take advantage of him being the available. Gustavo Hammer. A chance to whip it in. Hammer. In position. There we go, just knock that out of there. No no worries. Oh, shit. That was a big collision. Oh, what a save, Killip. He's looking like the Killip that I saw in League 2 in the first half of League 1 where he was dominant and I thought he could be a keeper all the way up until we got to the Prem. Recently, I have thought differently, but if he keeps making saves like that, maybe he's not the problem. Maybe it's just the center backs that need improved. Perhaps we need a more veteran presence on the wings at the right and left back spots. 
because we do have um, two sub 20 year olds in those starting roles so oh no he was kept on side too and he just whiffed wow wow that was lucky Uh, we are, Stefan, we are in, I am Hartlepool. We started in League Two. It is Season Three, and we are in the championship. Uh, but we are in a relegation battle. Oliver Burke. What do you mean, do I play on next or current? I don't know what you mean by that. Oh, that's got to be a corner kick. Yep. Forsyth is our corner kick guy. We have two six three midfielders down there we should be trying to hit, plus our center backs. We got Burke, he goes off the post. Oh. Alright, we gotta back down to Gordon now. Well they won't come closer than that, but they are creating chances. Oh Jesus Christ, what a terrible attempt at a pass that was. Current Jenner current Jenner, next gen. And he read it superbly. Current gen or next gen, what? <laughs> now, what can they do ah, from shit. Here? That was too, too congested. I should have known. Where do, though? Taking it, Thomas Asante. Get it up there. Burke got it. Oh, he shouldn't have bodied it, Burke, but he's got it anyway. Too hard to try to shoot it. Just shoot it, Burke. Jesus. Oliver Burke's already getting on my nerves. I thought he was going to be a crucial player for us coming from his Premier League experience of Sheffield, of Sheffield uh, United. Oh, I play on... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, PS5. So I guess that's next gen. Okay, I'll just take the ball. Thanks, Coventry. <laughs> Weirdo is just gonna let a rocket. Oh, I love. Or was that back and that was Weirdo? Okay, I love just taking random shots of Weirdo, seeing what he can do from back there. Send it up for Scythe, looking for Odusina. Can't find him. Oh, almost got it on the Burke's foot. Problem solved for now. Problem is solved for the time being. Jeez. I don't know how I lost that one. Oh, there's a good tackle. Beautiful tackle. There we go. We got Gordon out there. That guy was way too deep, too low. Ah, damn! Great defensive play by their part on their part. I didn't think that guy had the speed to keep up. It was a Dabo. Whoever this Dabo guy is, he is a uh, solid. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Gustavo Hammer. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Can't sit back. There we go. Just all that confidence, just holding the ball in the zone. I love it. There we go. Keep passing it down. And they have good speed on the outside to stop that play. You've got to be kidding me. He shoved me out that way. Come on. Ref not going to give me the, the ball on that. Should be a free kick. Jake Bidwell. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Still level here, but the pressure escalated. Get that out of there. Wonderful. Charge. And there's Burke right there to take it on. And Gordon now we're going right past Dabo. Too easy. And we got Burke, all over oh, Burke out here. Oh, I should not have shot that. I didn't think Tom Sassante was going to come free down there. He beat his guy, though. I should have known. Should have planned it. I, I know my team has like as much firepower as it can have. I think Gordon's just going to get better and better. He's going to be our star. He might be the guy we have to sell when we get to the Premier League just to be able to 
afford a Premier League side. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's also just user error. I'm really bad. I'm like, sometimes my passing is really terrible. I do not claim to be the best FIFA player in the world. I think I'm better than most, but I'm not nearly as good as other people. Oop. Okay, I'll take that to the half. Take the half. And we'll move along here. I feel like I should definitely be winning this game over Coventry. Oliver Burke blocked. It was a rocket of a shot at least. I don't know if it was going to be on target, but it was hit really hard. Got to make sure Oliver Burke has some type of confidence. I don't think he has any. And I'll take that offside there. Callum O'Hare, I believe, was called. Well, no shortage of live action coming your way right here on EA TV. And Stuart and I looking forward to being with you for this match. What a game that will be. Uh, I don't know why I shot that, but I'll take it back before safe. Where do? Backinson. Tom Sante, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I did not know what I was doing there at all. Hammer. What can they do from here? Oh no, what the hell? We already got run up and slowed down by something. And played in. Not away completely. Oh great play. Just knock that the fuck out of here. Nice play, where it do. Get that up there. Beautiful. Beautiful finds here. A lot of options in the center. But I don't have the options I want here. Oh, my, oh, my fucking finger slipped. <laughs> so sweaty over here. My finger slipped off of the analog stick when I went to hit X. And a quick reminder, we'll have action from the fourth round of the Carabao Cup here on the Carabao the Cup. Who cares about that? Well, only 16 teams left, so that game will be... That's ripped goal. Beautiful find. Back and sin. Give him the heart. Man, that was a great pass back up by Burke. Finding Backinson just to rip it onto the net. And we are up 1-0. For that. Bang. He had that little opening. Just ripped it. Goalie just couldn't get there in time. Big hit by Backinson. And it is a nice goal. 1-0. Backinson. I think it's his first goal with us in championship this year. It is. And we're taking out Burke, and we're bringing in Ricky J. Jones. Get some fresh legs out there in the attack. See if we can add another one. At the very least, we want to hold on to this and guarantee ourselves three points against another top side in the championship. Callum O'Hare. Callum O'Hare with it. Oh, that was a nice play. Look at this guy. Who is this guy? Greek guy or... Georgies, that could be Swedish, I guess, too, maybe. Well, the stats show us that the hosts haven't had that much of the ball. Oh, bad pass, Thomas Sante. Particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counterattack quickly. All right, all right, all right, all right. Callum O'Hare is here. Roshan Williams is cutting him off. Nobody there. Beautiful defense. Goes the Cooney now. Oh, okay. I'll take the ball back. Thank you. Right in front of Miss Manager goes out. For safe. And that is somehow going to them. Okay. 
Great play there, Backinson. Now we got down to Gordon here. I think he's got the speed to beat this guy out wide. No, Dabo. This Dabo guy is fast as hell. And there was somebody there to intercept that pass. You gotta be kidding. Oh, he missed it. He missed it badly. <laughs> I don't know why he just didn't jump on it to begin with. Get it out of there. These guys are pressing hard, trying to get the ball back. That's fine. Dangerous looking attack. Oh, did he really get Possession the ball? Say he got the ball on that. I did not think he picked oh, up anything him. there. There we go. We got this up. He tried to tap it on. No, off the goalkeeper. Good attempt by Ricky J. J. Jones. Oh, that's stolen. And that's going to be a corner kick. No. Oh, God damn it. Uh, I really couldn't care less what FIFA calls the game as long as I'm able to play. <laughs> or what EA Sports calls the game, or FIFA is in general. Oh, God. Oh, God, what a find. I couldn't even... I didn't even see him. What a play by Coventry. Okay. So we got five minutes to try to score again. Get back into it. Send that all the way down. Wide open. What a pass. Thomas Asante down to Shelton. Brendan Weiradu. Goal! Holy shit! Weiradu! The defensive midfielder, what a shot. Oh my god, and now the whole team celebrates, everyone's here. Oh my god, what a shot. That was from long range, just oof. Oof, that was sexy. Look at how far away he is, and look at that, hits it perfectly. The goalkeeper can't do anything about it. What a shot. Wow, right over the top. Couldn't have placed it any better. Brendan Weiradu. Ms. Manager is loving it. She should be more excited, in my opinion. But whatever. Weiradu has been such a good signing ever since we brought him in. First goal of the season in the championship. First goal of the season. I think he had five last year as a defensive mid. That's pretty damn good. Um, he plays a lot better in the 72 overall he's listed, I think. And I think he'll be playing for us in the Premier League. Unfortunately. Now let's make sure we don't choke this away. Weiradu's got his foot on it here again. That's where we want it. Pass it up here to Shelton. Back up to Norton Cuffey. We'll send it up to Thomas Asante. I'm going to send it down here. Uh, I thought Shelton was going to be there, but he overran it. Weiradu trying to win that. Ball back. Can't do it, but we're into stoppage time. Three minutes. That's a great defensive play. Odusina. Oh, that's going to go off of his face and out of bounds. How unfortunate. <laughs> um, what do we got here? We got less than a minute left in stoppage time. This is going to be Coventry's. Oh, they're going to blow the whistle there. Wow, they're not even going to give him another chance. In Hargapool, we're going to take three points. And that's going to be a great way to end this stream, I think. Coming by, getting that win. Brendan Weiradu showing again that he is an absolute monster of a player. Um, we deserve to win, though. 50-50 on possession. We had double the shots, though. So, good win for us. Three points. And I think we're out of the relegation zone. If I am not mistaken. And we can't see. We have the EFL Cup against Spurs next. Wow. I feel like I should play. This will be our first time against a major uh, Premier League side. I'm proud of Ewan. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just sim up to you. I'm not going to play it. But Carabao Cup against Spurs. I think I'm definitely going to get. I'm going to play to start the stream next time. So. 
let's just tidy this up looking at some excuse me looking at these uh latest scouted scouted players and maddie Wag waghorn wow what a name <laughs> just not going to be a player for me uh josh griffiths we already have scouted uh, yeah i'm definitely going to play it just not right this second I will play it to start the next stream on Sunday. Ryan Porteous is good, I'm pretty sure. Or he's this, maybe he's this, he looks good all the time and he never is. Marlon Pack, terribly slow. And yeah, okay, cool. So yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching the stream today. If you're watching on YouTube afterwards, please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. But, um, yeah, in the meantime, I am Justin. This has been my world today. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, we'll be back next Sunday to see how Hartlepool does and if we can keep staying out of this relegation zone. But until then, peace.